Good morning, Birchland. Happy Friday. I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time. I just wanted to take a moment to reiterate what Mr. Allen said recently. I can't stress how proud I am of all of the students at Birchland Park Middle School who have jumped right into online learning without any preparation or training. I know it's not the same thing as going to school, but the level with which you have jumped into it has once again proven why we are the best middle school in the continental United States. Keep up the good work, everyone. Seriously. No other school in no other district is doing the things that you are doing on a daily basis. And from the teacher educator side of things, we love hearing from you. We love getting the emails. We love the Google Classroom comments. We love the work that you're providing because we miss you and we wish that we could all be together in school. So the more that you can um, respond to us and reach out to us, um, the better that it, you make our lives too. And while it's always nice to compliment students who deserve it, um, that's not why I'm here today. What I'm going to be doing each week is providing you a challenge. I'm calling it the Corona Creativity Challenge. Like I said, I am so proud and so excited that everyone has jumped right into the learning and are zoned in and getting the work done, but that should not be all that you do all day. Sometimes you need to unplug and sometimes you need to actually get away from the work. Right now, we're living in an unprecedented time. And though there might be some struggles and some challenges and some uncertainty, this is also the time for opportunity. This is a time for you to shut your computer off, turn off your phone, and engage with your own creative side. Now is the time to actually make something new. So each week, I'm going to give you a suggestion, some sort of vehicle for you to explore creativity so that you're not going stir crazy while you social distance yourself from the rest of the world. So are you ready for your very first Corona creativity challenge? It's coming at you. The first challenge is very simple. It's very old school, but nevertheless, it's something that's going to activate your mind while keeping you healthy at the same time. Want to know what it is? Want to know? It's this, it's this. Like I said, it's very simple. This is an unprecedented time. It's new for everyone. Staying inside, not seeing your friends face to face or coming to school. But you know what? It'll end. One day, you know, things will go back to normal and you'll get to do the things that you liked to do before this. But right now, we are living through what I think is history in the present. If you take a journal and just wrote down your experiences every day, the things that you did, the things that you thought about, a board game that you played with a family member, a Google Hangout with a friend, or a favorite teacher, or picking up a book that's been sitting on your bookshelf for months, collecting dusts, and just wrote your thoughts on it, then you are becoming a primary source for historians sometime down the road. And they might want to know about this time what you're living through right now, which is why it's important for you to record it in a journal. It's a great way to capture this experience and have control of this experience because journaling has long been proven to be a therapeutic technique to just ease the mind and take control of the situation. And what I recommend is actually finding a piece of paper or a journal or a diary if you have it. You can certainly use um, the Google Docs for sure. But you're already online so much keeping up with all your work, with FaceTiming and Google Hangouts, watching YouTube and Netflix and playing video games. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for the internet right now. It's a lifesaver. And it's the, the online experience um, has really pulled all of us together in ways that I didn't expect and, 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 and truly grateful for. Um, but there's something to be said about taking uh, a pen and dragging it across a piece of paper to record your thoughts and to create words that didn't exist on the page before you put them there. There's something to be said about that. So I recommend doing just that. Capture what's happening right now. Record your thoughts about right now. I'm sure that you'll get something out of it. And if you don't want to do this, if you don't want to just you know write in a journal, I get it. That's not necessarily for everyone, though I recommend it. There's other things that you can do to record the moment that will come in later, um, come in handy later. You know, one recommendation is to take your phone 
and take a picture of something that represents this particular day. And then just write a quick little paragraph about why that picture is important. You can print the pictures out and put them in a book. You can uh, sort the pictures um, into albums on your phone. Um, you can post them somewhere, right? You can post them on, on Instagram. You can, you can keep a, a running um, track record of your day-to-day -day and, and start to really flex your photography muscles. Um, you know, you can, if you're an artist, you know, why don't you draw a picture every day of something that you see in, in the world outside um, or of the thoughts inside your head or a representation of the emotion that you're feeling at any given time on any given day. Um, so that's another thought. Um, if you're into poetry, if you like, if you consider yourself a poet, then why not create poetry um, on, a, on a daily basis or at least try to? Doesn't matter what you do, guys. As long as you try to capture the experience that you're currently living in, um, you're taking control of it and you're activating your creative side. So that is the uh, Corona Creativity Challenge round one. I'll be back again next week for, for round two. Bertrand Park Middle School students, um, I have been your assistant principal for seven years now. Um, and it's the greatest educational and professional role that I've ever had. And I didn't think that um, I, I could be as proud of all of you as I am right now. And not a day goes by where you don't find a new way to just knock my socks off and impress me. Um, just keep doing what you do and keep being you and keep proving why. We are the best middle school in the continental United States. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative.